everyone, welcome to Yo-Yo Story Channel. In the last story, Amy and Yo-Yo journey to the ethereal crossroads and face the right of the starlit duel, a series of challenges by the sentinels of the stars and prove their worth as guardians of the hearts. What will they encounter next? Today, let's continue their adventure. Amy and Yo-Yo's Uncharted Adventure Chapter 15 Return the Home with the Sentinels of the Star's blessing, Amy and Yo-Yo's airship ventured deeper into the sky, a place where stars twinkle like the eyes of the universe. Having succeeded in the starlit duel, their friendship had grown even stronger, like a sturdy tree rooted deep within the earth. Surrounded by the beauty of the cosmos, they felt a thrilling shiver as the air around them sparkled with magic, an unseen choir of stars that sang a path forward. This path, lined by stars like shimmering breadcrumbs, led them to an awe-inspiring place, the heart of the starry sky itself. The heart danced in space, surrounded by a blanket of nebula colors, pulsing with inviting light. When their ship reached the heart, it came to stop as gentle as a leaf landing on water. The energy around them fell silent, as though the universe was holding its breath. Amy and Yo-Yo, stepping into the space around the heart, felt as if they were in a dream where the only floor was a tapestry of starlight woven by the night. Held by the gravity of the heart's gentle pull, they were wrapped in its light, which seemed to know they were chosen for this very moment. Drawing near, the heart sang to them in celestial notes, a symphony that held the melody of the spheres. It was the music of everything, the rhythm of planets, the whisper of comets, and the bond of all life. Amy, touched by the beauty of the radiant orb, murmured, It's alive with stories and songs. Yo-Yo's eyes sparkled as he looked around at the orchestra of light surrounding them. We're guardians of the symphony now, a symphony that plays across all space and time. It's our responsibility to ensure it continues. Feeling their presence, the heart shone brightly, and from within, a piece just like the seed they guarded emerged. It floated gently into Amy's open hands, where it hummed in harmony with the seed of the heart of the world. Simultaneously, the astrolabe of return a bridge between worlds, awakened, signaling the unity of the three hearts, the ocean's depth, the earth's strength, and the starry sky's boundless expanse. As Yo-Yo examined the celestial map, it too resonated with brilliant. All these wonders, our map, the seed, and now the astrolabe, they each have a voice in the universe's song. With the fragment of the starry sky's heart secure, Amy and Yo-Yo understood their journey stretched beyond horizons they once knew. They were woven into the tapestry of the universe as protectors of a sacred balance, a balance that kept the symphony of life in harmonious play. While they felt a quiet accomplishment, they knew that this was merely a beginning. For every ending in one world was the dawn of countless beginnings in many others. The stars above them, the mountains they had climbed, the seas they had sailed, all were threads in a living, breathing masterpiece, and they were now weavers of that grand design. With the new piece secure next to the seed, they returned to their ship. Below them, the universe stretched out, a call to action, a call to teach and to share the boundless adventure that is life. The wisdom of the stars, now part of them, had granted not just a piece of the starry sky's heart, but insight and power to be enlightened guardians, shepherds of world upon world. Blessed by elements and guided by constellations, with a resolve forged in the depths of their courageous hearts, Amy and Yo-Yo continued their eternal vigil. 
Leaving the celestial realms behind, the airship carried them over lands unseen to a realm where light painted every corner, a secret garden birthed from the whispers of dreams and the caresses of moonbeam. The garden bloomed in vivid bursts of color with flowers that cast serene glows and trees whose leaves sparkled with starlit dew. The waterways sang melodies of pure joy as they wove through this canvas of life, and the air itself was a bouquet of the sweetest fragrances composed by an unseen artist for the senses to revel in. Here, in this nexus of enchantment, stood its caretaker, the keeper of the gateway. A unicorn, majestic and ethereal, its white coat glistening like dawn's first light, its spiraling horn a beacon of peace. It looked upon Amy and Yo-Yo with eyes that held millennia, eyes that saw through to the essence of their spirits. The unicorn spoke, its voice the very definition of calm. You have crossed worlds, upheld the balance. And now the time has come to return from whence you came. You must weave the knowledge you have gained into the fabric of your world. Amy, in silent awe, asked the unicorn if they were finally ready to go home. The unicorn bowed its head. Yes, guardians, through the harmonious unity of the three hearts and the starry map you hold, the path home will be revealed. And yet, it is truly your brave hearts their compassion and unwavering spirit that have unlocked the way. The unicorn led them through the labyrinth of life to a place where the air shimmered like a curtain about to unfold. With a delicate wave of its glowing horn, the unicorn conjured light that pierced the heavens, pulling at the heart pieces they carry. Amy and Yo-Yo clutched their treasure, the seed, the fragment, and the astrolabe. The energy swirled, and within it, a portal coalesced, painted with the mural of realities, ocean blue, earth green, and starlight silver, then the unicorn declared. This is the door to your world, step through with my blessing, and let your hearts guide you. Amy, with a gratitude deeper than the ocean's fathoms, thank their gentle guide. We will take all we have learned and we will guard our world. Harmony will be our anthem. The unicorn nodded, acknowledging their sacred commitment. In your capable hands, the balance will thrive. Journey forth with the radiance of the hearts, for they will light the paths that lie ahead. Amy and Yo-Yo, armed with the gifts of their collective trials, stood at the precipice of the portal. They regarded the garden, the unicorn, the doorway, a tableau of their odyssey's climax. And then, with hearts full and spirits resolved, they took the step forward into the swirling passage. Colors and lights twirled around them in a dance as old as time itself, and for a fleeting, timeless moment, they were travelers in the great unknown. On the other side, the portal hummed closed, and they stood once again in their world. The unicorn and the garden were etched into their memories like myths of old, but the wisdom, the journey, and the heart's song, they were vibrant and alive. Home was different now. It was not just a land or a place, but a chapter in their ever-unfolding story, one of courage, light, and the eternal quest for balance. Amy and Yo-Yo moved forth, changed but steadfast, prepared to face each new sunrise as guardians. For they understood now more than ever, they were an intrinsic part of a cosmic orchestra, and their tale of magic and duty would go on, a story to weave into the hearts of others, inviting all to become stewards of the beautiful, wondrous world they all share. <laughs>